Hey everyone, it's Abe with SonicDad.com and I'm here to bring you the first ever Sonic Challenge. Now the Sonic Challenge is a new video series that we're introducing where you, our viewing audience, challenge us at Sonic Dad to define the science behind our projects. Now the very first challenge comes from Alex in Virginia Beach. He's interested in building Sonic Dad project number 10, the masking tape airport for his nephews and with his nephews. And he sends us this question. He says, I would like to know more about how airports work and how pilots and the people in the tower talk to each other so I can pretend to be the person in the tower and my nephews can be the pilots. Well, Alex, you're in luck. Today we've come to the airport to talk to Mike. He's an air traffic controller with over 30 years of experience and he's going to explain to us exactly how the airport works and how pilots and the air traffic control tower communicate so that everything runs smooth. So come along as we go talk to Mike. I've never been in an elevator this small. There's a good chance this will go to a secret lab somewhere. Well, hey Mike, how are you? Hey, hey, happy to meet you. Yeah, you as well. So uh, we sure appreciate you taking a little time with us today. Happy to do. Can you explain to me just a little bit about how this lays out and kind of how the actual runway out here works? Oh, you bet. Uh, the first thing, uh, you'll notice there are numbers at the ends of the runways. In this case, it's three and the L means left, the R means right. So these are parallel runways here. So it says runway three left, three right, and then on the opposite end is two on right and two on left. Uh, these runways are aligned with the, with the magnetic direction. In other words, the compass has 360 degrees, and these are aligned. So runway 21, when you depart off a of 21, the heading would be 210 degrees. Oh, I see. And with 360 degrees being north, 180 is south, 270 is west, 90 is east. So the numbers on the runways indicate the heading without the zero that the aircraft is actually flying. So 21. Only two ought to be two ten. Gotcha. Three would be thirty, and so forth. Uh, of course, on every runway they have these. There's marks on the center lines, and it just simply is a white line that marks the center line of the runway, so that they can see it and line up with it. Also, here you'll see some large. Uh, the, in this case, it's black on real runways that are white. Okay, and there's markings to indicate the end of the runway, and this is a basic touchdown zone where these next ones are. The smaller uh, areas here are taxiways, and uh, on the taxiway they'll be they'll be just simply taxi or just driving from one place to another on the ground. The runways they actually take off. Tell us a little bit about what you think of Project Number Ten, the masking tape airport. How did we do? You know, I think it's awesome. Uh, it looks great. It gives uh, it gives a young person a wonderful opportunity to actually see how they look from an actually an aerial view and to see how it is and to play with your airplane which by the way this is really awesome <laughs> to actually be able to because this is just like a stick in some airplanes okay turn left turn right down up okay and that's really really neat and to see how the airplane flies and to see and to practice that yeah we've got some different uh, graphics that go with it too up yeah. chucks flying school <laughs> <laughs> there's all your the other thing I see is that it's an awesome opportunity for a father and a son to uh, play together, to do things, to build things together. And uh, of course, I'm, I'm not a, a little child anymore, but I remember doing that with my dad. So, um, I've been tower at Sonic Dad 75, 10 miles out northeast approach. Sonic Dad 75, Ogden Tower, make straight and approach, we're only 2 1. Wind 2 1 0 8, and the altimeter. That's all. Uh, Ogden Tower, straight in approach, 21, runway 21, right. And I see now that you're, you're about three, four miles out, and then going to be number one. And so I would say Sonic Dead 75, runway 21, right, clear to land. Uh, Roger, Ogden Tower, 21, right, clear to land. Very good. Yeah. And I come in. I want to touch down between these spots, right? That's the This touchdown is essentially record. the touchdown zone right here. So anywhere between here. Is fine. You touch down. All right, so we land. roll out, and now we're going to go over to this side, to the right side. So I'm going to say turn right at the next taxiway, or okay. turn right on runway 25, yes. and then turn right on the next taxiway. So come in there and say Ogden Tower. It's time for a burger. 
Yes, I would say I can contact ground control. Now, ground control is the guy that owns all the taxiways. So you would contact ground control, he would give you specific instructions on how to get to where you want to park. And this is exciting. I'm going to come back with my boys, if that's okay. Please do. Yeah, i got two little ruffians that would love to see this. All right, Michael, thank you very much. All right, we'll talk to you soon. All right, nice to meet you. What a fantastic experience talking to Mike and the other air traffic controllers. And Alex, thank you for a great question, and we wish you the best of luck building Sonic Dad Project Number 10 with your nephews. Send us some pictures, we'd love to see them. Now it's up to you, our viewing audience, to give us our next Sonic Challenge. So if you have a question about the science behind one of our projects, email it to the email address below, and we'll do everything we can to highlight it in an upcoming Sonic Challenge episode. So from all of us at Sonic Dad, this is Abe signing off. We'll see you next time.